Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. You know, I could probably be quoted as saying, what's not to love about living in rural Idaho? But truth be told, there is one small drawback to living out here. Namely, it's an awfully long way to the nearest donut shop. Now, the local grocery store does have a small bakery section that carries a few donuts, but every time I've been there, either they were sold out or they were stale. So, given this present dearth of fresh donuts, I've been experimenting with making my own. And I've come up with a recipe that works pretty well. So, for the benefit of my fellow rural Idahoans and anyone else who might be interested, I thought I'd share it with you. So, first off, I'm just going to mix three cups of flour with a tablespoon of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of yeast. Now I'm going to measure out two cups of milk. And warm up the microwave just until it's warm. Now we just mix it all together. And then I'm going to cover it with a sheet of plastic wrap and throw it in the refrigerator for about 24 hours. Now, personally, I've always been partial to the uh, custard-filled Bismarck donuts, and so I also found a way to reverse engineer the custard filling. For starters, I'm going to take another two cups of milk and pour it in the blender. Then I'm going to add a half cup of flour. Two eggs, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of imitation vanilla. a tablespoon of margarine, three quarter cups of sugar, and one quarter cup of this uh, Irish cream coffee creamer. At this point, I'll blend it until it's macroscopically homogeneous. And then pour it in a pot. Set 
set it on the stove at medium heat and stir it until it thickens. So that is now pretty well thickened. So at this point, I'm actually going to take it and put it in ice cube trays, fill the cubes about half full and freeze it. And then the custard cubes is what we'll use to fill the donuts. At this point, I'm going to take some aluminum foil, butter it liberally with margarine, and then cut it into squares that we can set the donuts on to let them rise. So now I've got the dough out, I'm going to stir it up a little. and then put some flour on my work surface. Now I'll just put a little dough on the flour. Get out our frozen custard cubes. and press a cube or two into the dough. And then just gather the dough up around it. So there's one donut. I'll set that on one of the uh, squares of buttered aluminum foil and let them rise for anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. Now that the donuts have had a chance to rise, I put a pot of oil on the stove uh, and heated it up. Now I'll just take a donut on a piece of aluminum foil, lower the aluminum foil into the hot oil. At that point the butter will melt and we'll be able to withdraw the aluminum foil, leaving the donut in the oil to cook. As a finishing touch, I'll add a little bit of fudge frosting. And there is our homemade custard filled donut. Thanks for watching the Idahoan Show.